Hi, welcome to this series of Radius's Open Network Disruption demo videos. In this video, we will examine the emerging trends in software-defined broadband access and demonstrate a Radius's software-defined passive optical network solution framework. This framework, called SDPON for short, enables broadband service providers to disaggregate proprietary OLT black boxes into a virtualized OLT software and white box OLTs. The SD-PON solution framework can be deployed on standard off-the-shelf servers or cloud platforms to manage independently scalable multi-vendor white box OLTs. With this disaggregated PON solution, service providers gain three main benefits. One, they can break the vendor lock-in and gain access to hardware vendor neutrality. Two, they can get deployment flexibility and agility by having the capabilities to instantiate virtual OLTs and remotely manage the white box OLTs deployed at various locations, such as remote nodes, central offices, metro aggregation nodes, and at the core. And three, achieve greater cost efficiencies by transitioning to white box hardware and by leveraging one common virtual OLT software platform with high programmability and SDN control across diverse broadband access technologies, such as XGS PON, GPON, GFAST, and NGPON2. We will demonstrate a high broadband triple play service on an XGS PON based broadband access solution that is disaggregated using Radius' SDPON software framework and XGS PON white box OLT. For demonstration purposes, the services are delivered to two subscribers through a white box OLT, which is managed by a Radius' software defined PON. The demonstration will also highlight virtual OLT's fault management from the cloud. In this demonstration, you will also witness how an external management system is integrated with Radius' SD-PON solution framework. The integrated solution is used to perform many functions such as manage access network devices, define services, activate subscribers, and manage faults by using both conventional management protocols and through programming interfaces. Let me quickly explain the setup for this demo. We have white box OLT, which has two of its PON ports connected to two ONU devices. Each of these ONU's UNI ports is connected to two different laptops, each representing a subscriber's residential gateway and the end device. We have one x86 COTS-based server below the white box OLT, which is hosting the SD PON software solution framework. The laptop above the white box OLT is an external management system which is managing Radius' SD-PON software. It is an exemplary representation of service provider's management entity which allows the administrator to configure, manage, and monitor multiple OLTs deployed. Radius' SD-PON framework adheres to FCAP's norms and provides a unified management interface for rapid and easy integration to service provider's incumbent management systems. The array of COTS servers above the laptop is hosting a virtual broadband network gateway and a variety of third-party applications such as multicast source, IMS server, and speed test server. The multicast source application is programmed to broadcast two video channels at all times. The IMS server enables voice video calling services. Now let's look at all of the services one by one. First, we will show the high-speed internet service delivered via disaggregated OLT. You can notice that a user can successfully access the internet. Please note the flow of the traffic in from the laptop to the ONT to the virtual OLT and through its NNI ports to the virtualized BNG which is connected to the internet. The speed test showcases a gigabit upload and download speeds, confirming a successful delivery of symmetrical high-speed line rates via virtual white box OLTs. Now we'll show the multicast IPTV service delivered via the disaggregated OLT. The IPTV service with multiple channels is hosted on the virtual BNG. Two channels with different IP addresses have been configured on each subscriber's laptop. We can see that both subscribers are able to tune to the same channel and watch the same videos completely in sync. Next, we will change the channel for each subscribers to channel two. Both videos remain in sync. Now we will change subscriber 1 back to channel 1. Both subscribers are able to watch completely different channels without any impact on quality. This demonstrates how a successful multicast IPTV service is delivered to end subscribers. 
Now we will show the video calling service delivered via the disaggregated OLT. To demonstrate a voice and video calling service, a soft phone is used on each subscriber's laptop. The soft phones are configured with the SIPs, URIs of the subscribers and the proxy IP addresses of the virtual BNG, which is hosting the IMS server. You can see a successful video call has been placed via a virtual OLT. Now we will switch gears and show the fault detection and service restoration capabilities of Radius's SD PON software framework. As you can see when we remove the PON cable from the white box OLT, a loss of PON fault is immediately visible on the EMS platform. It alerts the operator about the loss of the PON port on the OLT. Also notice that the IPTV service has stopped. Now as I connect the PON cable in the OLT, the fault disappears and the IPTV service gets reinitiated. This successfully demonstrates how a virtual OLT can be remotely and centrally managed from a software-defined cloud management platform. This completes our demonstration of how a Radius's SD PON software framework can enable broadband service providers to disaggregate a traditional PON network into virtualized OLT software and white box OLTs and deliver high bandwidth triple play services to their subscribers. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about Radius's SD PON solution framework and expertise, visit us at radius.com.